We are rolling around in today, 2020 Yukon, GMC. I am still, and a lot of people aren't into it anymore, I'm still big into Jay-Z and, and Kanye. I would say that's probably my two go-tos. Being born into the sport of basketball and being, you know, growing up in a basketball family, you know, you're kind of almost thrown into it as soon as you're born. But for me, I really found my first real passion and love for the sport was actually just following my brother around, you know, wanting to be like him. Going to school here at Texas is something that was always big for me, especially as a young age. You know, people from Texas think it is the greatest place on earth, which it is. But graduating from the University of Texas, being able to play and put the burnt orange on is something you just take pride in. One of the things I'm very prideful is where I'm from. And I think that's just one of the greatest accomplishments. And my wife is a graduate of the University of Texas. And so that's something in our household that we're, you know, we're pushing on our son. This place here is special to me. It means something to me. And I know it means something to people who graduated from here and our fans. And we want people in the program that it means something to them as well. Part of working here is being around people that you know their passion and their care for the Longhorns. Being a point guard especially, you have to be an extension of the coach and the coaching staff. So you're already honing in on your skills to coach at a, you know, a young age. And I, my whole life, I've been small, so I could only play one position and it was point guard. So it was something that was kind of, you know, I kind of grew into and then growing up in the gym and being in a basketball family and, you know, growing up in, with my dad, we waking up at six o'clock every day, you know, some of the stuff that he taught us and what he put us through is kind of preparing me for to be a coach without me even knowing. And, you know, I think that's the one thing, it was something that really wasn't forced on me, it felt very natural. And so that's something that yeah, it just kind of happened and I didn't think it would happen for me at an early age. I started coaching when I was 24. Driving around campus every day is kind of, you know, it kind of just like it's, it's flashbacks because you know, you know exactly what the players and students are going through. So every time just driving past like Cypress and Jester, just having those flashbacks. So being in college and hanging out with my teammates and you know, just doing what we used to do as 19 and 20 year olds is probably the best time of your life, you know, until you have kids and have a family and stuff like that. But growing up and growing up on the University of Texas campus and becoming a man, you know, something you just don't forget, just a great time. My message to the guys and just sharing my experiences here because, you know, I have done almost, you know, pretty much the same thing they've done is just that, you know, it's not as hard as you think it is. <laughs> you know, being a student athlete at the University of Texas is probably one of those times in your life that you'll remember the most. This is the part of your life that you enjoy. I know you have dreams and aspirations of getting other places, but don't, you know, don't try to speed it up. Be in the moment, you know, be where you are right now and just enjoy this. It will be a big part of your life forever. You'll tell these stories of being in the dorms with your teammates, going to practice and stuff. You'll tell the stories to your kids. So this is something you want to cherish while you're here. I am Coach Jay Lucas and I am all for Texas. Hook them.